We have had two sessions of not rate introduction. The first session, um, we wrote an IoT simulator. So the device get the temperature and humidity and the display to the screen. In the second session, we make the connection. We made the device connect to the IoT platform. And uh, here you go. So now after we deploy, and uh, set up the time interval to every three seconds. You can see the data has come to the debug. In this session, I would like to introduce how can we represent this data, present this data to the websites. There is a program. So this is the server side, Node.js is server side program. And then how can we get another process to pick it up and pick the data up? And remember the data is continuous and the small sized IoT data. The typical way to do this is using the web socket and to get this continuous data. Let's see how do we do that. In the, there is a very nice web, um, example from the website, this website. So let's take a look, how do they do? Copy, Control I, Control V, input. Okay, we get it here. Now we also get the time interval a little bit small. And shut down the debug. Okay, let's deploy. Application client is not connected and that's fine. So we are going to connect to the HTTP get. Okay, we can see the website is coming and then the, t uh, the timestamp is keep going. Let's see how do they write the code. Okay, there are two part. One part is they are doing the web sockets. The two different kind of nodes. This is web sockets out, which is sending the data to the client side. And uh, this one is, is accept data, it's the WebSocket in. And uh, this part of code is a very simple um, HTTP GET and uh, with a template node. This node is kind of the front end uh, JavaScript, including the HTML and uh, also JavaScript. So in here, it's reflecting the web page. You know, they get uh, the get the data. You know, two things. One thing is a uh, get the data from the WinSet socket out, and also they push a uh, um, button and then send the commands back to here. So this is a perfectly use case for the uh, Internet of Things. If you click this button, and then the data is going to send it back, send it back to here. So uh, we can connect to back to the device, and then this is command sent to device, and the data is send send the incoming to the IoT platform. Now we change this code a little bit to make it to our usage. We delete this one and connect to WebSocket and delete this one and this. So in this way, we get the, instead of get the, the time, time data, we will get our IoT data, okay? And when do the click and then to here. 
So we also can add the IoT node so that it can send it back to the device, send back to the device. And we can, using the Lumix, and uh, we can get the device ID. and uh, get the device type. It is command, and uh, this is data. This data, the format is string. Okay, we can send the data back Let's take a look. All right, successfully de deployed. Let's see if we can. Okay, there is everything has been connected. Let's take a look of the website. Okay, it's already changed. See, it's already changed to the um, JSON file we get. And if we, if we click this and to see if it, the click is come back and it's come here and it also it come back to uh, to the, oh, we, we don't have an input file input yet. So we needed to have our input and to get all right so device id format if we can get all we get to deploy Okay, we get the object to come back. So, but anyway, we are did a little bit of changes. We can take advantage of this very uh, simple WebSocket examples.